Blessings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that you all are having a blessed day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood and I'm enjoying the fresh air. It's not too hot. It's not too cool. It's just right. I even have on a long sleeve blouse today and that is not me. But in the fall, I, I'm, I'm really feeling this, this weather today. It's beautiful. So I'm coming to you with a dream that I had a couple of days ago. And in this dream, it reminded me of what's to come based off, off the scriptures in the Bible about tribulation, about perilous times, about demons being unleashed upon the earth. And in a minute, you'll find out why I'm saying these things. So in the dream, I find myself being invited to a home of this gentleman and he wanted to share some things with me so I went over there and when I went to the home I noticed that he had a lot to say about the scriptures so he's quoting scriptures he's reading the scriptures he's um well out loud and he's reciting and I'm in agreement with the scriptures. I'm in agreement. I'm like, yes, yes, this is this is true. And so I I am in agreement with what this man has to say about the Bible, about Jesus and everything. And so I notice he's sitting in a chair and he is he doesn't have any clothes on. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on here? So I'm standing next to the staircase, which leads upstairs in his home. But I'm like far away from him. So I'm keeping my distance. At the same time, I do not know this man. But he wanted me to hear what he had to say. So I'm I'm agreeing with the scriptures. I'm also ready to go. So I really just came to see what he had to say. And then I'm out. So I'm just thinking, why does this man not have any clothes on? I mean, he had no shirt on. And he's sitting there in a chair. And there was a silhouette covering the rest of his body from the waist down. So I could not see. The The Lord didn't allow me to see him fully exposed. But I knew that he didn't have any clothes on either. So at some point, I'm thinking in my mind, he's exposed anyway. Because he didn't have any clothes on. <laughs> but I did not see his body parts like from the waist down. He, it, Like I said, it was a silhouette. A white silhouette, cloudy white silhouette covering him from the waist down. So I'm just like, Lord, what does this mean? But what I can gather from this dream, I'm thinking he's exposed to a certain extent because this just doesn't happen every day and not in real life. <laughs> that this happens, you just go over somebody's house and then you don't know them. You've never seen them before, but only in the dream and they don't have any clothes on. <laughs> so... As soon as he got finished saying what he had to say, and is is really, you know, he's lingering on a little bit, all of a sudden, there's like hundreds of demons busting through the door because there's some type of tribulation taking place. There's like an apocalyptic event, a major, major event, and there's all these demons that are that are just busting through the door, and so my first response and reaction is to get up out of there. So I get up and run. But as I'm running away, I'm looking at the man's face and I notice the look on his face and he is in sheer horror. He's in shock. He's surprised and all of the above. He is so shocked because he did not keep up with the end times. He did not really know the end times that we were living in. It was like he was kind of unprepared. And so I'm running out of there as I'm looking at his surprised face and I'm running out of there because I just want to get out of there, you know. And so I do. I run out into the streets and I'm running, running, running. And all these people are running to and fro and they don't know where to go because the demons are catching these people and they're destroying these people. They're killing them. And as I'm running to try to get to safety, they these demons don't see me. The demons do not see me. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm covered under the blood of Jesus because they don't see me. So I'm able to run and, and run to safety. But as I'm running, I'm looking at all these people being destroyed because these demons are just catching them one by one. And it was just, just sheer horror that was taking place. And it just felt like it was just like an apocalyptic 
um, tribulation event that I know is going to happen in the near future without a shadow of a doubt. Because if you read in the book of Revelations, it's all in there about this, um, these things taking place. And so this is just a warning to the, to not only the body of Christ, but to the world that Jesus is coming. He's coming for a church without spot, wrinkle, blemish, and he's coming. And these things I believe are going to take place. Probably some of these things will take place definitely before his return. Definitely. But more so after he comes to receive his bride, what the people that are left, what are you going to do? There, there, there won't be any help for you. And these demons are going to be roaming the earth and you are going to be left down here. And you can't fight these demons because they're going to devour you. So I pray that someone takes heed to this to get your houses in order to seek the Lord while he may be found. Come to Jesus now because tomorrow is not promised to any man. Come to him now. Now is the time for salvation more than ever before. Come to Jesus before it's too late because you are not promised to wake up the next day. You're not, we're not promised to wake up tomorrow. And so I wanted to read um, a few scriptures in Luke chapter 21. And um, I wanted to read a few. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you can go ahead and read the chap the whole chapter of 21. And so let me start with chapter 8. I'm sorry. Chapter 21, verse 8. Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these things shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist and ye shall be betrayed by both parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends and some of you shall they cause to be put to death and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake but there shall not an hair on your head perish that reminds me of myself in this dream in your patience possess ye your souls and when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with armies, then know that the desolation therefore is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let them not let them that are in the countries enter there into. For these be the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled but woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon these this people and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations and jerusalem shall be trodden down of the gentiles unto the times of gentiles be fulfilled and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth the stress of nations with perplexity, and the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, and looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And he spake to them a parable, beholding a fig tree of all trees, when they now shoot forth, ye shall see and know of your own selves that summer is 
now nigh at hand. So likewise, when ye see these things come to pass, know that ye the kingdom of God is at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. I'll stop right there. But this is the times, signs of the times that we are living in people and Jesus is coming and we need to prepare. Know the times that we're living in. Pray for discernment if you don't have any. Ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins. Repent now for the kingdom of God is at hand, people. Turn away from your sins and turn to God. You all be blessed. I pray this touched someone's heart to come to Jesus. You all be blessed. Shalom.